Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday, I think. Um, I hate not knowing what day it is sometimes. We are at the Kisarazu train station. We had some bank business to take care of. Um, and I have found, or Amy pointed out at least, the Hot Meal vending machine, which I have never seen before. Everyone talks about them in Japan, but I've never seen them. Um, you can get, like, everything here. Grilled rice balls. Hot dogs. Hot dogs, takoyaki, karaage, taiyaki, which are freaking delicious. Um, um, I'm almost tempted to do it, nope. but, but no. I think our train will be here soon anyway. Okay, we're back, and we're on the way to get the, uh, to get the girlfriend so we can get lunch. And we are enjoying the beautiful weather. I say we, because apparently I'm more than one person. But, no, nah, Amy was enjoying it too. It's, uh, it's beautiful. I have no idea what the temperature is. All I know is I'm in one jacket, a short sleeve shirt, and an undershirt. It's the least amount of clothing I've worn here, I think, ever. Um, ever, but since I got here this year. Um, since the vlog started, it's been some days where, you know, it's been warm, but not it's, it's beautiful. Yesterday was a little bit cold when I run to Tokyo, but now it's just, it's a gorgeous day. Uh, I got, got a few errands to run, which it's a perfect day for it, so I'm not at all worried or complaining that I have some errands. Um, scooter was loud. That's something. Another great mode of transportation in Japan are scooters. They kind of look like mopeds, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, look it up. Um, but yeah, it's a scooter, like, nothing you'd think would be a real mode of transportation, but they are, they're real modes of transportation. People use them all the time. Um, I know someone who was actually in a little bit of a traffic collision in one last year. She, uh, she rear-ended the car in front of her because she wasn't paying attention and he stopped short or something like that. But, yeah, so, interesting to see, like, people on their scooters, their little helmets. Something I've never seen in the U.S. It is officially too windy to vlog outside. Uh, you won't be able to hear a word. I dropped the camera. You won't be able to hear a word I say if I'm vlogging outside. Um, one of the errands that's done... Uh, one of the errands that need to be done is done. And now I just gotta run to the post office and mail some stuff. And then the, uh, the last thing for my student visa should be taken care of. I just have to make sure that I have the correct address. Time to go on the internet. So, I think it was last week I said that knowing all the um, important post office words uh, is really helpful and it proved helpful yet again. Um, as I said, I have to mail the stuff out, um, but it's not going to happen today. I don't know if I have the right address. I'm pretty sure I do, but um, it'll do happen first thing tomorrow. If I don't hear from the guy who I emailed yesterday, then I'm just going to call them directly. Um, I'm going to fire off another email now, just make sure, no, got to make sure where to not to be annoying. Anywho, back to the important vocabulary. Um, I've never actually mailed a letter or anything in an envelope while in Japan, to somewhere in Japan, so I don't know how to do it. Um, you know in the U.S., you know, the sending goes here, and you put, or the address you're sending it to goes here, and your address goes up here. On Japan, in Japan, on their envelopes, one that, like, they're vertical, due to traditional writing system. But, um, you write the address you're sending it to on the front, on, like, the right side, and you write your address on the back, and I didn't know that. So, I went, got the envelope, uh, figured out how to do that, with a quick question, and, um, now I'm back here. I'm gonna look up the kanji for where I'm going, just so I can write it in, or I'll write it in, uh, um, English. Uh, I'll look up see if it's it's something that's doable. Or when I have the right address, I'll go and I'll ask, to ask tomorrow um, with the kanji, just in case. Um, another annoying thing, we seem to have found what appears to be some mold in the bathroom. So I got some bleach and like this scrubby eraser like thing uh, to scrub it all off. So I have to go do that. Okay, so I don't know if that worked. But I do now know that I need to open a window, and I don't know how to work the fan in the bathroom, because all I taste is bleach. I think I got a little bit of it, though. 
I need to buy a scrubber, a better, like, wire scrubber. Literally so windy out right now that a gust in the right direction will make it harder to walk forward. A couple weeks ago, Amy made, like, a balloon bouquet thing. This balloon, you can't tell anymore, but it has another balloon in it. And I'm, I'm, I've been trying to grab the smaller balloon because it's lost a lot more air, I think. Or maybe it hasn't, I don't know. It's like rock hard in there. And it, it kind of feels like, I don't know, like a, like a muscle knot that you'd get in like a leg or, or a tumor or something. Um, but, um, oh <laughs> god, if I'm doing that, uh, God, no, it does, it feels funky. I don't know, wow, what the hell am I doing? Alright, so Amy's been a little bit stressed out today, but, um, I think I can, I can help a little bit. She said that she wanted me to do something nice. Normally, when I do something nice, I get flowers. She loves getting flowers. But, as you can tell, this looks like bedding. I moved the bedding from the loft to down here. Uh, cause she likes sleeping down here better cause it's warmer. And it's been really windy and like, it's because, uh, Japanese houses have really thin walls. So, one, heating them can be a weird thing, but two, because of that and how friggin' windy it gets here, um, it makes some crazy wind sounds. And sometimes that can kind of be, Amy can get scared a little bit. Um, so we're gonna, it's stopped now though. Probably not, I'll probably pick wake up, but. Anyway, so we're gonna, we'll sleep down here. Um, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. So hopefully she likes that. I made a meal, I tweaked it a little bit. There's this recipe I found in a book that was like beef, some other vegetables, and the flavoring was honey. We don't have any beef, but I did it with chicken and it still tastes pretty good. Um, oh yeah. Also, there's her iPad here, which... When she opens, I hope it shows up on camera, will, does it work? Yeah, kind of. There'll be that nice message there for her. Give her a shoulder and foot massage so she can relax. And, um, she likes to sing. Recently she's been singing a lot of songs from Frozen. Um, there's a song in Frozen that's a duet between one of the main characters in this other prince guy that she's been trying to get me to sing. I can't sing, and I don't know the lyrics, so I'm practicing the song, so if she wants to, like, I'm going to suggest that we do it, because she was, she wanted me to do it this morning, to sing it with her, but, uh, I just, I don't know, like, the timing of the lyrics, and I don't know the lyrics well, so, um, I'm practicing that now, and hopefully this puts her in a little bit better spirits. So she can get a good night's rest. It's probably not enough. I'm probably doing, like, the wrong thing. But I think it's a good idea. I think Amy will like even a small gesture like this. So, uh, I gotta go pick her up in about half an hour. So we will see what she thinks. Okay, everybody, that's it. Um, kind of late night again. I gotta talk a little quietly because Amy's already going to sleep. Um, we actually were nodding off, and I think I fell asleep, but I gotta get up and brush my teeth real quick. So, um, she's in bed, that's why she's not here to say goodnight. But, uh, good night, everybody, and, uh, thank you for watching. As always, um, please leave a comment, and subscribe down below, subscribe buttons over here. Um, please do it, and join us again tomorrow. Nighty-night.